Hey everybody, welcome to Go For Green Living. My name is Daniel. And today, uh, I'm going to talk about Adobe and my Adobe Oven. Now, my Adobe Oven, I refresh it every year. I, about this time of year, it has to be warm enough for the, for the clay to dry good and get a good, uh, good finish on it. You know, because you don't want a lot of cracking. And I'm doing this because I'm getting ready for, uh, you know, uh, preparing. This thing, when it's hot, it'll cook all day long. And that's something that's coming up in the future videos. Is, is me cooking it all day long? Bread, uh, cookies, uh, soups, uh, entrees, breakfast, lunch, all day long, cooking in the Adobe oven from one fire. So that's why they're so valuable. So that's the reason you you need to go ahead and hit the subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on all the stuff I have coming. I have a, a solar system about to come out. It's going to change solar in everybody's life. It's going to change everything. But I'm going to show you the old Adobe oven right now and how it was flaking off. It's just from the freezes and the, and the moisture in the air. And, and stuff like that and from having it super hot last year I mean actually I caught the, the fiberglass uh, that was on top of it on fire last year I had it so hot so uh, that wasn't a bad thing so Now the first thing that I do when I'm, I'm going to mix up Adobe, and I'm going to show you how I mix up my Adobe for, for the, this uh, Adobe oven. The first thing I do is I find some good dark red clay. I mean stuff that like you, you're like, oh, if I had a white t-shirt that would just be ruined then. So, but I find some good clay and I dig it up. Uh, after I've got it dug up, then uh, I take a, I have an old barrel and some uh, hardware cloth that, that I sift it through. Now, it, this is just to get out the big particles, the, the rocks, and and just in case there's a piece of glass in there, I, I make sure that there's no glass in there because that's happened before. Uh, a little piece of glass uh, get through there and it'll, it'll really, uh, you know, ruin your day. <laughs> then uh, you can see that it's just a big pile of gravel and you know because you, you wouldn't know that just from digging it up but after you sift it out you see what kind of rocks you're dealing with uh, now after it's, it's sifted it turns into a fine powder now there's still small tiny rocks in there but those tiny rocks uh, are will be just fine in its adobe oven I mean it's it's not gonna affect the uh, in fact, anything about this Adobe oven, except for me putting it on there, it, occasionally I'll, I'll run across a little rock and it'll scrape or something like that, and I just got to refinish it. But after you have it all finished out, you know, in, the, in, in a fine powder, then you either put it on a tarp or you can put it in a concrete mixer like I do. <laughs> and it's a fine thing. You just add a little bit of water. You want the consistency of, like, peanut butter, but then comes the fun part. This is when you you really start uh, having fun because you got to get in and stomp it. <laughs>
there, there's no way to do ends or buts about it. You you got to get in something. You put it in a cement mixer, it won't get the right consistency because it'll stick to the wall. So you have to be able to make uh, clay balls out of it. You know, something that will sit in your hand, just like a, you grab it and make it into a ball, and then you apply it just by gently moving it up. But anyway, so Anna jumped in with me. <laughs> she puts bags on her feet because, you know, she didn't want her feet turning orange. And I don't know if y'all can see, but my hands are kind of orange from applying it yesterday. Now, when you're applying this, apply it generously. I know it's going to stick to everything. It's going to, uh, well, the first thing you do, before you apply it, you wet down your surface. If you're you're going to old Adobe, then wet down the surface because you need that uh, it'll be able to bind together and, and stick together. But after you wet down everything, you apply it generously. And then, now don't worry about lumps and stuff like that, you know, coming out and different textures. After you applied it, uh, then you can just take some water in your hand, dip your hand in water, and just kind of lightly rub over the adobe, and it'll smooth it out. It's smooth surface that'll bind everything together and it makes kind of like a little uh, mud film over uh, the entire surface. Now after it dries there is going to be some cracking that, that appears because you're putting it on nice and thick and, and, and heavy duty layers it, but all you got to do is just get some light adobe kind of lightly brush over the, your surface and then it'll smooth back out and you create a good finish for to, to make it so the rain doesn't collect on and stuff like that. But now mine, I put bricks on top of this because uh, you remember from the old one, I had, uh, you know, just the tin laying on top of, of the Adobe oven and there wasn't a, a good airflow underneath and it created, uh, you know, it, it wasn't a good draft there. So I wanted to create draft so that it wouldn't just sit there and burn and burn and burn. But now here in the South, uh, you need a roof over a W oven or it's just gonna eventually uh, wash away because it's, it's just so much rain during certain parts of the season. Now mine, I did something special to it this, this year. I added some bricks on top of the uh, the Adobe oven because I wanted to put a, a better roof and, you know in case the flames they reach it up there that true it wouldn't burn the metal for sure and I wanted it to be a little bit off of the uh, Adobe oven some so I put some bricks up there because here you know if if I left out in the rain it would slowly deteriorate slowly wash away and actually I'm building it up every year that I put a layer on I'm probably putting an inch, two inches of, of cob on there, and I would estimate there's roughly about about six inches thick now, and it's getting good. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you, and I'll catch you on the next video. Oni, over, ocha, me the love you, he do. Hey, guys.